HPE perspective. What's next? What's next? Um, I think we are probably one of the most established vendors um, in the world, especially when it comes to supercomputing and AI. Um, we've got a lot of services um, to help customers either expand what they're doing really well with AI, um, but from my side, I'm definitely seeing those customers struggling to adopt AI. Yeah. Um, so we, we have services in our kit bag and a partner network across the region to help customers start on this AI journey. Um, so from a HPE point of view, we offer something called the Gen AI Discovery Service. Mm. So that really helps customers understand what are the business goals, what's the use case, and how to come up with a proof of value. And I, I say proof of value very deliberately, not a proof of concept. It's like, how do you prove mm -hmm. that if we can get you AI fit and we take that data and we come up with this end use case, whether it'll deliver value back to the business. So you're not investing millions and millions in trying to get something to work. You're investing a little to prove that the long goal will work. So from a HPE point of view, that is definitely something that we're driving. And we have this partnership network like yourselves um, delivering very similar services. So really keen to hear what's happening in your space as well. Well, less structured sometimes, we do like to have just general conversations about the art of the possible with our customers. We love educating and informing them about what, what is the reality, what is the AI reality for them. Um, but more specifically, we also have our AI readiness assessments that I think tie in very well with what uh, HPE is offering. And so this partnership is making complete sense from our perspective. And um, I'm really looking forward to what we can achieve on the continent together. That's awesome.